coming on unto thee. Wash me, cleanse thee in thy blood that flows on Calvary. I am a coming Lord, coming unto thee, coming on to thee. Wash me, cleanse me, wash me, cleanse me in thy blood that flows on Calvary. Daniel saw the stone ruling out of Babylon. Daniel saw the stone ruling out of Babylon. Daniel saw the stone. Ruling out of Babylon, Daniel saw the stone. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to this morning's devotion. My name is Brother Daniel and I'll be speaking, the short topic I'll be speaking to y'all on is addiction. So I know when y'all first hear addiction, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is drugs or something bad. But in the definition, in but in the definition of addiction, it says substance, thing, or activity. So mainly, I'll be speaking to you about like how you can be addicted on good things, basically, if you understand what I'm saying. Um. So not necessarily when you hear addiction, um, you know, people attach themselves mostly to a drug or something, a drug or substance, like it says in the definitions, to make themselves feel good or make themselves feel positive. Like people um, usually take, people usually say that they take drugs as a motivation or as a need or as a want. But the only motive, or the only motivation and things you need is God, the love and savior, um, who is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I wrote a few things down that I want to tell y'all before I, I end. And, um, I, well, I, the first thing I heard, and it says, a disconnection from God or a higher power causes addiction. This separation causes people suffering because they fail to live, they fail to live recovery consistently and establish or re-establishing a connection with God or a higher power. So basically saying that when they're basically saying that um when you disconnect from God, well what I'm getting from that is that you find yourself and lead yourself down a broad path. And um you know when the feeling is done when you're satisfied and when you feel like you don't want that in your life now you it is now either finding a way to re-establish the connection with god or it's either going to go downhill from that because once you once you touch a specific sub substance substance sorry it's either you're hooked or you're in problems hey <laughs> um but the other thing i wrote underneath it was um a Bible verse and it says no temptation has no temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man and what I think that means is that the strength of the temptations we face will be um, what is that saying sorry proportionate to the strength God gives us to resist them so basically what we're saying basically what that's saying is that God we don't need those things in our lives to make us feel like we need someone or make us feel whole that your only resource or um thing that you rely on should be god himself you know people feel like um that is a way to just you know that's an that is an easy way out you know they were saying to me in church the other day that um it's only the toughest people that God puts the hardest things um, for us to overcome. 
and that is really true because you know there's all there's ups there's downs there's trials and tribulations but if you have faith and if you have faith as small as a mustard seed if you have faith and you can wait patiently on the lord he shall hear your call you know um not everything is always um a fast thinking a fast thinking thought if that's coming out right like sometimes you just need to sit and wait patiently because i know that stuff is hard and that's what you would that's what most people would go and rely on and then it goes downhill from there but what i want to tell you on the people that's hearing this today is that just being a little bit more patient would give you a whole 360 and a whole different direction on things you know i want everybody listening to this devotion today to understand that um we don't need to put something in our body to feel like we need um someone or to make us feel loved or to make us feel like that is the motivation we need to go on because you know it's just one it's just one overtake and one overdose and your whole life can be ruined you know this topic, um, when Brendan gave it to me, I was like, why are they giving me addiction to speak on? Like, <laughs> what, am I, what am I supposed to tell you guys about addiction that will hopefully help y'all stop or if you're thinking about it, prevent it? But I'm just letting y'all know if y'all just wait a little bit more, everything would be swell, sweet, and sound. Um, but yeah. I'm going to pray for you guys and then I'm going to end. Eternal and wise God, um, coming to you, Lord, to give you thanks and praise due unto your matchless name. Asking you, Lord, to continue, Lord, to watch over me and continue, Lord, to bless me at this time and our blessed Lord, here on, here yet another morning, Lord, doing your will at this time and our Lord. For the people hearing my voice, Lord, help them, Lord, to give them the spirit of persuasion, Lord, and persuade them to drift away from the things that is not of you, Lord. Give them the addicting spirit, Lord, to do your will and your will only at this time in our blessed Father. Lord, I'm coming to you, Lord, on behalf of the people watching this video, Lord, that you will prosper them and you will give them growth and strength, Lord, that you would grow them in the way they ought to grow at this time in our blessed Lord. That you will continue, Lord, to show them a different outcome, blessed Father. Lord, I'm asking you, Lord, to continue to prosper me, Lord, to do your will also, blessed Father, that I will continue to do good things, blessed Lord. And in this is, in these, in Jesus' name I pray, <laughs> amen. Um, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you on tomorrow's devotion.